investigating where we live i think really stands for being us kids being able to go into Anacostia and through our group's diversity change community actually bringing that to life in this exhibit so when people go they actually have a sense of actually being in Anacostia through those different groups. On the first day we learned about the basics of photography and got to meet professional photographers who used photography for different subjects. We also were able to use and um, play with, explore the different ways that they had for used their cameras and the different attachments photographers used for the specific things they wanted to photograph. And some of the technical elements were like rule of the word, third sort of with the lightning and the uh, lighting was very nice, like the sunset wise. The contrast was pretty good because you had dark on some sides, but then it was light on the top. And the texture, if you see like it on a computer, you can see the clouds, the details and everything. We tagged photos according to different categories such as strong dynamic compositions, um, different photos that had different lightings and patterns and a lot of and, and a lot of photos that were very artistic. Um, I picked this one. It doesn't necessarily follow our rule of thirds thing, but I thought it still had a good composition because it kind of our attention is focused in the center, which is fine. But I don't know. It's just like a neat perspective. Yeah. We went on site visits and brainstormed about what we saw in Anacostia. Our group thought about what we wanted our exhibit to be about. Shame sounded like an interesting and open-ended idea. The other teams chose diversity and community as their themes. Diversity. Different individuals living in different variations of environment recreate today's society, influencing today and years to come. Your glasses. Sorry. Working here is you see a bit of everything. You see reality. Um, you see poverty, and you see the you know the upside to it. Like you might go in someone's house, and there might not be any furniture in it. So, but living here. Do you think Anacostia is very diverse or? No, when I was a little girl, it was. I would say in the, the late 60s, early 70s, it was. Um, and then uh, it changed over to be, you know, to become mostly an African-American community. But as, as a child, you know, these streets back here, there were black families, white families, everyone, you know, and got along really well. The goal is to increase community. Um, the diversity comes with community, great. We're, we're about community. Whoever wants to move in and be a part of our community, that's who we welcome. We don't care if you're pink, purple, orange. We want you to be a part of the community, to help build it up, to make it a place that we want to live, shop, work, and play. Oh, 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 oh,
very quickly. So they're really trying to get more people to come into Anaconda State Park now. And one time, a lot of people don't use it. So they do like jazz festivals, they're doing music. Then we, I'm working on doing like nature walks, bird watching. Actually, Anaconda is one of the best places to do bird watching. A lot of people don't know about it, but it is. Um, and so it's really like, my thing is really be able to sit down and watch how Anaconda is growing. I would like to see more opportunities for people here who are unemployed. Um, when you're unemployed, a lot of times it doesn't promote you to want to read. But if people had jobs, it would give them encouragement and give them the motivation to read, I think. Uh, so I would like to see people take on more skill sets where they can have more jobs or create their own businesses. I've been community meetings. Not just a group, but a, a mini civilization of people that get along and live together in this in the same neighborhood. If they, but they also like live and work together. They they're friends. After our site visits, we went over our photography and chose 30 of our favorite photos. When we chose our photos, we were trying to find our themes, either diversity, community, or change. We looked for elements that would show, the, show it for our gallery. And, um, we, were, we had to come up with the design and layout for our exhibit wall. Mingled in throughout um, the pictures and the different sections are our creative writing assignments, which you know just go along with our theme or support the pictures. So how can we organize these to tell the story that we want to tell? What if we create like a family portrait? Like of all the people we can find that we took pictures of, put them in the middle or next to each other so they look like a family portrait. Mm -hmm. Use the other pictures to create some type of frame around it. Um, once we had our plans made, we could start to install photos and um, we laid out the design. We were also able to start painting, figure out which articles we're going to use for our interactive. Um, tomorrow we're going to map photos and we're going to put our finishing touches on it so we can get it ready for the exhibit opening. I learned that many neighborhoods in Washington, D.C. aren't what they're believed to be or what people say they are. And they have so much more heart and story than meets the eye. So I think I mainly learned that I should never make assumptions about someplace until I've been there and I've heard the residents tell me what it's really like. So here's what we can do. Yeah. 
Did he do that? Did you see the wax? Oh yeah, it was on the USA game. Yeah. That was actually good. I don't care. But they can't. He's going on to 61. He's going on to 61. He's going on to 61. He's going on to 61.